Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis for Great Britain. Uh, we have 100 years left, one fourth of the game, well a bit more than that. And I still haven't decided if I want to go for World Conquest or not, because I, I was kind of playing a relaxed game and I'm enjoying it. We'll see. For now we're annexing our vassal of Denmark and, hmm, and hoping hoping against hope that in the next three, two years to come Austria will lose an heir or a ruler which would allow us to enforce a personal union over Austria and Hungary. It is very unlikely to happen but we hope against hope. <coughs> and that's about it. We're super rich, we have a lot of manpower, we could pretty much take on anyone in the world. So who's our next target? I do have a little, a little bit of aggressive expansion in the north here. I guess I could attack the Pope and take the south of France. Genoa, Naples, Venice, Trier. Venice is my ally. They would probably help the Pope if I attacked him. Yeah, yeah they would. Oh, actually, is it time to attack the Obsidian Empire again? Probably. Um, almost, yes. Oh, sorry. I feel a cough coming on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Mm. And I guess we could also attack Portugal. But then again, I'm putting this off until we fight... Um, until we fight Aragon. Alright, let's unpause. Okay, Venice and Denmark want royal marriages. Observe Austria cautiously. I guess I could attack the Netherlands. Would Austria help them? Yes. Hmm, how about Brandenburg? We still have a truce? No, we don't. I could attack Brandenburg. It would be just me, Poland and Lithuania against Brandenburg. Um, I guess I could do that. I'll take Lübeck. Sure, let's get our troops here. I might as well do that. <coughs> hmm, sorry. Uh, let's get you a leader. Oh, why not? Yeah? And after we're, we're done with that, um, I could expand this way. Austria still not in disputed succession. It's super important. Okay. Declare war, do imperialism. Nobody will join anyone. Okay, let's do it. Brandenburg, here we come. We'll have to be a little bit cautious because there is a lot of um, there's a lot of aggressive expansion involved here because this is HRE territory. Hmm. Cardinal Minister, I don't like that. Don't have a lot of heretics though. I guess I could do that. Sure, why not? I can always fight him, right? And also, my tolerance is pretty good, so it shouldn't cause any trouble. It is a temporary modifier. Oh, speaking of religion, let's convert someone. Okay, Siege of Lubeck. That was fast. How did this happen so fast? So where's the Brandenburgian army? Are they just hiding away somewhere? Is Brandenburg at war with anyone? Did I miss that? No, they're not. Well, apart from us, of course. Colony self-sustaining. Still no disputed succession in Austria. Ah, I bet they're going to get it when it's no longer necessary to my plans. Or rather, when it can no longer succeed. Brandenburg occupied East Frisia. And that's where your troops went. You're over here. Ah, I guess I can probably beat you up if you come this way. Accommodating natives. Natives lose ferocity. I guess I could feed some land to Denmark. We are already annexing them. Denmark, you're very good in sieging stuff. How are you good, so good in sieging stuff? Hmm. 
no, maybe I should not feed Denmark because they are on the verge of not being annexable because of liberty desire. So I probably should not do that. Bukhara pretend rebels, interesting. Slightly interesting. I could send more troops in, but I don't think it's necessary. Truce at Yarkand is over. Please, Austria, please. Please. Let's see our own country. And that is how long we have left. Brandenburg occupied Utrecht. Yeah, we don't really care. Before they take any significant amount of our territory, we'll have all of their territory. Okay, they're going quite fast, aren't they? Well, that's because I don't have forts. It won't matter in the end. Yeah, keep checking that. Just to be sure. Even a week air would let us do the thing that we so very much wanted to do to Austria. All right, another siege. Another day, another siege. I guess I could go around here and take their capital. Berlin. Yeah, I guess I can. If if that thing that we want to happen were to happen, we would need to quickly claim throne and attack Austria. Without restraint or anything. New monarch in Portugal. Interesting. Show me. Not really interesting. You have an heir. Mm, cardinal exposed. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's nice to have extra papal points, but just one cardinal is not going to make much of a difference. You want to influence Bohemia? No, not anymore. They hate me anyway. For some reason. I think they want, yeah, they want the Polish land. <clears throat> right, and that's all the forts. Once we complete those sieges, they should pretty much agree to anything we want. Oh, come on, Austria. Please, just this once. We've been trying to get a union over them for almost 300 years. And it has been unsuccessful all that time. Well, we managed with Poland, eventually, and Muscovy, and France, and Castile. So we can succeed, but um, in general, in comparing to how much effort I put into those personal unions, I think I'm being very unlucky this game. Oh, come on. Come on. Brandenburg occupied Artois. Yeah, right, I'm just waiting for that one siege. And keeping this monitored. Let's check on our air. Yeah, one year. Soon the opportunity will be over. Soon we will no longer be able to take over Austria. That's a pity. Influence Venice. Um, no, not really. Venice can be called into this war. Well, we have almost won, so no. That means we now have enough favors to do something else with them, if we so choose. Hmm, I guess I could probably take anything I want from Brandenburg right now. Let's see how much I can get without getting a coalition. This is a relatively small coalition. This is a bigger one. Yeah, Bohemia's involved, that means it's a big one. Actually, how about a uh, vassalization? 134. Hmm. Maybe next time. Pomerania, Bohemia. I'd like to not have Bohemia in a coalition against me. I could make them release some people. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. 
I take the three here and make them release some other countries. That will cost me some diplo power, but I have a lot of the diplo power. And then we can more easily conquer the rest of the area. Maybe, possibly. Um, Austria, are you available? No, not yet. So yeah, this way we would um, kind of humiliate them. Got a lot of prestige. And all their treaties with whom? Mm. I guess I could annul their treaties with the Ottomans and tell, take all their money. Just to, you know, make them weak and not a threat to me. They're not really a threat to me, but I... You know, I can't take too much in Northern HRE. Okay, yeah, let's make them release several countries. Maybe Verdun? Yeah, that'll do it. I'll have to spend some double points for the release. Mm, they will love me now, and we'll see if we can do anything about it. Probably nothing. Let's call the pro newly acquired provinces. Probably won't need any uh, local autonomy. So Lubeck is going to increase our trade income significantly yet again. Actually, I wonder how much I'm getting in Genoa. 23. Cool. That is pretty good. <coughs> Another conversion. Extra papal points. Okay. Austria. Last chance. Last chance to not disappoint me. No? Something happened. No, oh, that's just Bavaria. And here comes our air. That's not very good. Okay, I want uh, I want a Prince Consort or mm, something like that with the Habsburg dynasty. So I would like to get it or them get them with Austria. So I'm going to break royal ties with them and immediately re enter a royal marriage. So that I will hopefully get the dynasty I want. Oh, she's tolerant, extra tolerant. Nice. Okay. We have our new prince consort. That is Habsburg. We can use that as you saw me use it against Poland earlier. Now, <coughs> it would be a perfect time to attack Aragon. Because, you know, they have the same dynasty as us. And my, I might do that soon. Oh, Venice has no heir. That's probably not gonna work, but, you know, we've been pursuing royal marriages this whole game, so why not continue? Why stop now? Yeah, I don't want to conquer anyone else in the HRE right now. Sweden and I have a truce. For the next ten years. I guess the Ottomans might be a good target. Although, to fight the Ottomans, I would prefer to have Austria on my side. Venice would not join me. Austria, how many favors do I have with you? 13. So if we re-establish the alliance, I could, in fact, attack the Ottomans. With your help. Do I need their help? I have a lot of troops. I have Castile, Poland, Lithuania on my side. So I probably don't need their help. They're only allied with Bukhara. Bukhara would help them. Bukhara would help them. You know, maybe I might do it. Let's see how many troops they have. Ledger, military, armies and total armies. Yeah, obviously I have the most. 91,000 troops. That's not that much anymore. My subjects have more than the Ottomans. The Ottomans are good, of course. Oh, Austria wants Imperial territory. You don't like me anymore, Austria, that's why. And you will no longer accept alliance. Alright, I guess I'll have to improve relations. I wouldn't want you to become my enemy. Yet. I guess I, I mean I could do an alliance, but still. Don't feel like it's the best idea ever. Who's rebellious again? Denmark, of course they are. Uh, what are our relations? Maybe our relations just deteriorated. No. 
Mm. I guess it's probably my diplomatic reputation reduction due to being overextended. So I could either sacrifice some prestige. I guess I'll sacrifice some prestige. That's, that doesn't bother me. Um, but it's local rulers. That'll be enough for um, the annexation, I think. So, Aragon. We'll see about that. Mm, when can I integrate you? 41. It's 23 more years. Some conversions as usual. Yeah, with the Cardinal Minister we can do it faster. And... Um, I don't really have a lot of admin power, but if we attack the Ottomans, the time that the war will take will give me time to amass enough admin power. Yeah, I think I should attack the Ottomans. Maybe let's just wait until we're no longer overextended. Plague. I guess I'll help them. We're so rich that we can afford to be the nice guy. Well, usually I probably would do nothing because that was just a local modifier. Let's have a look at Bukhara. Ottomans and Ardalan. Ardalan is this tiny thing here, right? Yes, yes. Oh, even Venice has some territory here. Speaking of Venice, what would happen when your guy dies? We just get the dynasty. Well, it's important to be prepared if that happens. Uh, imperialism. Casus belly. Let us go. Goodbye, Ottomans, hopefully. Well, not completely, of course, but, you know. I could feed some to Poland, some of their territory, in order to avoid uh, excess um, overextension. Can you guys move out of here? Can you? Oh, that's a long way. <laughs> Actually, I'll keep these guys where they are. We have enough troops around here, I think. You, go and take care of Bukhara for me. We'll attack the Ottomans from the south and our allies attack the Ottomans from the north. Or our subjects, if you prefer. Can you go through here? No, you cannot. I guess I could use my ships. Don't really see a reason not to. Yeah, get in the boats. Let's make sure they are well provisioned for the journey. And let's just land you over here. In Constantinople. Right. A new trade good. That doesn't really concern me. And a new debate. I don't like those anymore. I think I'll just leave it be. Let's take the trade efficiency thing and see if it auto-completes. It probably won't and we lose some prestige. That's not a problem for me. Pope. Mm. Do I want extra stability or do I want extra legitimacy? That's what, total 10 legitimacy. No, that's total 20 legitimacy. Just a faster increase. I could buy stability from the Pope. Let's buy stability from the Pope. If we get some extra papal points, I can always get uh, legitimacy that way. Or I could spend the military points if I have excess military points, which is looking rather likely now. You know what? Let's do it right away. If I embrace their last institution, yes. Alright, the Ottomans have a lot of guys here. This could become problematic. <clears throat> they might attack me in Aleppo soon. Then I'll need to compound some forces in there to survive. Two of a kind. Admin power or a cheaper advisor? Admin power, please. Money doesn't matter to me anymore. Go to Antioch, you will help the guys in Aleppo if they come under attack, which they will. 
Actually, you might come under attack in Antioch, so just stay here. Right. Venice, still an option. Not very likely. But there was no control mush. Poland, Lithuania, are you doing stuff? Yeah. Castile, are you doing stuff? Not yet, but I hope they will. I guess I could ask some people for military access so that Castile could move here. I'm not sure they would move here. Even if I did, they have a strong navy, so maybe that will be sufficient. Although, if I were to ask, Trier, Saxony and Bohemia would be sufficient. Bohemia, would you give me access? Um, or I could go through Savoy, Venice, Austria and Hungary. That's a bit unwieldy. We already have a relation with Austria, so that wouldn't cost extra. Um, how else could I reach Austria? No, I think this is this is good. Trier, Saxony. Oh, Saxony won't give me access. Crap. Yeah, cancel the Trier one then. Let's get it through Savoy. Venice. Austria and Hungary. And Council Trier. Which means our troops can now walk over there. We won the Siege of Damascus and Bukhara. This is a fort, right? No? Why did it appear to be? Maybe it's blocked by a fort or something like that. Um, anyway, let's get back over this way. Yeah, they're probably going to attack me. As we have taken Damascus, I can move my troops closer to each other. And possibly reinforce. Oh, they're just going this way. Hmm. Interesting, I guess. I'll take Adana. If we're attacked here, I should be able to provide reinforcements in time. I'm not sure if I will. Okay. Uh, where were we? Military access. Just to confirm. Council Trier. Savoy, we have Venice, we have Savoy, we have Austria, and we have Hungary. Perfect, that means we should be able to go through here. Which means Castile should be able to go through here. Uh, will they? That is a different matter. Alright. There's the big Ottoman army. We have to be cautious of it. I can send those guys to Ankara. Or I could send you up here. Nah, Poland has it, co has it under control. Alright. You here and you here. Just don't attack the Ottoman army. Stay close to it, but don't attack it. Uh, you this way, you this way. Um, in the situation, if they attack, we'll be able to defend ourselves against them. Also, it seems like Karakuyun also attacked them. That war with um, Karakuyun and Korsan, which seems... Can you beat them? This is weird. Hmm. So, Bukhara, I have all your forts. Are you ready to surrender to me? Kinda. I'd really rather end the war on this side of the world. Oh, you don't want to agree to that. But never mind then. I'll just do a carpet siege of your stuff and then come after your army. One, two, three. And all the other numbers after that. Two. Then we'll consolidate them here, and you know. Uh, I did not renew the influence over Poland. Let's see if they like me enough. Yes, yes, they do. I have no legal heir. At least we're married to Habsburg. That can be profitable later on. We'll see. City demands seat in Parliament. Sure, whatever. You can have it. 
We are a good ruler, a nice, kind ruler. Mm, yeah, always let people sample new religions. They're all equally pointless. Okay. Uh, Should I wait for this to be over? Maybe. Mm, this is being taken by someone else. I guess I could take these two. Oh, are we under attack? It's entirely possible. Yes, yes we are. You stay where you are and you retreat. And maybe they will go after Kaikun instead. And so they did. Not that I'm afraid of a confrontation with the Ottomans, but it would be... better to do it later, when we have more troops in the area. Once we have broken through here. Or the ones our subjects have broken through here. Oh, I completely forgot I had Denmark. Right. We're annexing them, of course. Alright. Mm. Yeah, this kinda works. Let's go take these two, in the meantime. Fortification effort, always. Great Britain occupied Tashkent. And that other place, too. Okay, so we will have all of Bukhara's land. They might have one of my forts. Unless you're willing to give me everything already. I mean, not everything. I don't want your capital. Which one's your capital? Don't want your capital. I would gladly take everything other than your capital. How overextended are we? 38%. 38% overextended. Which is not horrible. Not horrible at all. Venice is still an option, though. <coughs> Let's have a look. Uh, 34 years old. Yeah, not very likely. Ooh, the AI ruler is malevolent. Interesting. Alright, anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see each other soon. Goodbye.